I'm Toy Cat and welcome back to our third channel walk and talk video. Today I find myself in Albany which is technically I believe upstate New York. It's actually the capital of New York State and it's interesting because you know I just always have this assumption that any like small town especially a small town in a state that also has big cities it's just going to be you know tiny and it's going to look like this right but it's actually surprisingly developed and big and this is on the outskirts of town. Look at this by the way this over there is the Albany skyline and it's actually got like big buildings and stuff and you know what I'm saying is my interpretation so far looks to be wrong. Anyway so I'm here for like an hour. I uh I haven't really been eating much recently. This video is not going to be about anything. It's just going to be unloading some thoughts because I have been uh I don't know, my, I, it's, it's interesting because <laughs> I've been in a very strange state. Do you see that way that the bird was flying sideways? That's interesting. But uh, my, my body's been in a weird state recently. And, you know, probably for good reason. But I, I've been, as a result of that, thinking a lot about, like, isn't it so weird how our body and our mind actually are connected? Like, I have been not really eating. I've had, like, a meal a day, and I felt full of it. And it's weird because I understand not eating by ignoring your mental desire to eat, but like, you know, my mental desire to eat is satiated by eating 10 chicken nuggets <laughs> for the course of a day, or, you know, it's satiated by having uh, a single piece of catfish or something, which is a weird way to eat fish and chips, I guess. But like, it's, it's interesting that like, I, uh, I, I, I was assumed that when people have these weird, like, you know, let's call them compulsions, disorders, whatever, they're like, what's actually happening is you're ignoring your body's signal. But it's not actually true. And that, that makes me worry sometimes because wouldn't it be nice if all it took to be a good human was to follow your body's instincts, you know, in a lot of different ways and, you know, help nurture and foster them and stuff. But if, if your mind and your body are so connected that, you know, you're having a real, real bad week and so you don't eat because uh, apparently it's like when you're emotionally... I, I've, I've tried to look into like why it is that there's not even desire. And it's like, yeah, when you're not emotionally good, your body knows that it's not really the time for this. And that makes me wonder, like, if you're happy, do you eat a lot more than you need to? Do you like say, you know, because one of the key human things is during the good times, we, uh, you know, we, we overdo it so that when there's a bad time, we can underdo it. I mean, think about the, uh, you know, the American economy, the thing that people are always so critical of uh, in many ways, uh, many rightful ways, but like, it's the world's largest economy and, uh, you know, maybe going too, you know, they push too far, too high every year, like always got to do better, but then uh, which country was best? <laughs> you know, without actually doing anything, <laughs> you know, anti-COVID, which country managed to come out of this with the highest, you know, like basically just come back to normal the fastest. And it's like, yeah, it turns out, you know, you, you can turn off 10% and still have plenty if you have something really big to start with. But when you're living on the edge, taking away 10%, it's just not something you could even conceivably do. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's really interesting because I, I would like to believe that, I think we'd all like to believe, that all you got to do to be healthy is like follow, follow how some things work. But it's interesting because also, again, I, maybe I'm just talking about like, ah, things are bad, isn't it interesting? being on the mind on the inside of that but like also I'd say like my, my maybe maybe it's related to the food maybe it's related to the sadness or whatever but my compulsions are all like slightly worse I've been scratch look at my look at my fingers I've just been scratching my finger skin all day every day I had a nightmare I had so many nightmares last night um <laughs> yeah, is this a toy cat sad video I'm sorry if it is um but I had so many nightmares last night I kept having the same one over and over again that I was accidentally making someone like cold like I was putting the AC on them and they were like, ah, it's too cold. <laughs> and uh, so I had that dream over and over and over and I logically concluded like, oh, I must be cold in real life and this is my body signaling. Like I have so many dreams where I'm like, uh, so I, I have so many dreams where I'm thirsty and then I wake up and I'm like, you know, my mouth sure is dry, might as well drink. Uh, again, is that wrong? Is that is that your body and your mind working together, you know? Your body sends a signal to your mind, your mind sends a, a dream out and it makes it so nightmarish that you have to wake up and do something. I don't know for sure. But what I do know is, ooh, the Albany Hudson Electric Trail. Riverfront Park Trailhead. You know, I have time to do a trail, right? Probably. You know, I should eat food. This is, this is me doing a thing. Even though I had breakfast today, I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a second meal for the first time this week. 
I'm gonna do a good thing for myself. It's gonna be crazy if you'll believe this. I'm gonna do it right now, right here. Let's get some Dunkin' Donuts. This is the weirdest looking one I've ever seen, by the way. This is clearly just someone's house that they've set up in such a way that it becomes a Dunkin' Donuts. But uh, I guess let's give it a try. I, I'm sorry, I point the camera at the ground. I don't want people to like just see that and feel weird by that. I'm sorry. Do you like looking at the ground? Do you like my legs? My feet good? That's good. <laughs> Can I get a couple of each type of munchkin? Like 10? Um, like, sure, why not? <laughs> I'll give you a few. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, sir? Anything else? Um, no, thank you. It's I feel like, you know, great thing about America is you can eat fast food and it like just about, oh wow, there is more than 10 in here. You know, what? she said something like, I'll give you extra. And I thought I meant egg, because I thought I was requesting six, but you know, what? how nice of her. She, people are just so randomly nice. I don't know how anyone can be sad for any extended period of time. Knowing what we live in a society, like the one we do, you know? Like I just don't understand it on a fundamental level. Ooh, look at this. There's some graffiti over there. I think that's the Federalist flag as well. Maybe the opposite of the Federalist flag. I don't know flags, honestly. I mean, I do know flags. I don't know old American flags. Like, what's the deal with, you know, old America and the political parties having flags, but then the Federalists just never getting into power anyway, so it didn't really matter. What a waste. It's like the Confederate flag, you know? These are some good donuts. Mmm. See, right? It's like eating food. But I'm not actually eating food. No, this is good. If I get, if I get like one more meal in today, I'm a healthy human. And sometimes that's what it takes, you know? You're in the, you're in the pits of something bad. And it feels like it will go on forever. But in the same way, I have no idea what to expect from Albany or indeed this, this trail. I should watch out for Lyme disease. Oh God. Okay. I don't like that. Jesus. Carefully remove attached ticks, fine point tweezers. You know, I'm gonna get Lyme disease. I knew I was Lyme already. I didn't know I had to worry about a second thing. This one's like the worst and the best. It's like powdered sugar, but it's too much. But like in the same way I can't expect what happens when I walk into a Dunkin' Donuts, I definitely should. I just, you know, there, there's like a few Dunkins. <clears throat> there's like, there's one in the, in, in Germany, in, uh, in the main train station in Frankfurt. I tried the, I tried the donuts and it was bad. I was like, oh, but they're known for their coffee. I tried the coffee and the, the fake coffees because I don't like coffee. It was terrible too. It was just all so wasteful, you know? I just, I didn't like any of that. And so I don't know what to expect in the Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know what to expect from Albany. I don't know what to expect from a random employee deciding to be so kind. Um, but it's nice that they did so anyway. Wait, do you think I can follow this trail all the way down to like, New York. Yeah, it's well. I could follow this pretty far. Yeah, let's do it. Why do I even need to be on that train? There's no good reason, right? Mmm. These like Timbits. 
but slightly knockoffish, you know? Mm. But yeah, I, um, I think there's this um, tendency when you're sad or depressed. I feel like this is the tendency to me that turns a sadness into a depression. If there's even a, I feel like the difference is actually that depression is like a clinical condition that has to be, what's the word, prescribed? Ascribed? Has to be like given to you. You know, you capture it from a tick or something. Whereas sadness is like, I felt sad when, you know, I got bit by a bug and it gave me depression. You get me like, there's a, there's a real difference between a moment and a, a length. But uh, again, I, I feel like language is very con c uh, hard to nail down in any precise way because you know what, actually, you know what language means what people want it to mean. And so I want to mean that the easiest way to stop a sad event becoming a sad part of your life is to realize it won't be forever. <clears throat> I think it's so, so human to assume that now is always. But in the same way that 200 years ago, literally 220, 44 years ago, the US was founded or the Revolutionary War started. One of the two. Like, that is less than a quarter of a thousand years ago. And these icons, like the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists, are what they actually called. I think they're called the... Ooh, I forget what the Anti-Federalists are called. I bet they're called the Anti-Federalists and I'm dumb. But their flag seemed so important. That was your whole identity. How did you think this, this, this great state or this great nation should be run? You know, this good... Let's, let's, let's calm it down a bit. This good state. This, this pretty good nation. How do you think it should be run? And these symbols became such big things of it. But they're so... Even, even now though, right? Even me who like knows things I'd like to believe and has specifically dived into this topic because of Hamilton and the recent historical fiction. Even this one in a hundred situation still can't tell you what their, I can't tell you what their flags are or what they're called. You know, this, this Trump logo thing, it's crazy the, the divisiveness of that president. In, while you're in office, you couldn't go a single day without literally the world falling down because of something he had done. You know, that was what it happened every day. Um, you know, it was, there was no exaggerations. It was every single day, the world fell down. And now it's like, oh, you guys know who the president is? Yeah, what's, what's he done recently? You know, it's pretty calm. And that's good, you know? That's a, that's a sign of progress. And there's gonna be a lot of negative progress. If you look at the US, it's not gonna be a continued uphill battle. It's gonna be something real bad that happens soon. I don't know what that real bad thing's gonna be. But something bad was going to happen in the not so distant future and we're going to have this reaction of like oh that's bad that's the end of my thought <laughs> mm, don't know. but this morning i was convinced i'd never eat again i was convinced i wouldn't feel happy again but I remembered, you know, that, that deep dish pizza that I, I couldn't get while I was in, while I was in uh, Chicago. You don't know about that yet if you're watching this video, but that deep dish pizza. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to get it. I don't know when. I'm in America for a month. If I really want it, I can hop on a, a I'd say I'd hop on a train, but like, you know, Trains are not an effective way to move. I don't like the way that like parent and child like moved away when they saw me. That's that's too much for me. I'm not going under a bridge. I feel like I've been lured under there. You know? Anyway, um It's also natural to assume that the current state of being is the always state of being. But I also think that's a it's a faulty model. I think things change all the time, always. And for you to be consistently where you are the whole time would be a miracle. That would be the, the shocking thing. The shocking thing is not that one day things will change and improve. The shocking thing is if they don't. And 
truth be told, unless you die, get get lured under a bridge by a by a, a couple of miscreants. I don't know. Why I'm calling out these people now. But the truth is, look at me caring about trails so dearly here. Um, the truth is. I want to ride a jet ski. That'd be fun. Why am I not riding a jet ski? I had a whole hour here. I could have ridden a jet ski instead of eating donuts and walking around a park. There's no one here, by the way. What's the deal with that? Is it COVID or something? Nah, it can't be COVID. It's got to be something else. Are you meant to eat these all in one bite, by the way? Because I always... I go in for half and then go in for the rest. Let me change that. Warning, fish and crabs from these waters contain chemicals and may be harmful to eat, especially for women and children. Ah, I bet those, for that woman and her child had a cramp. So that's what happened there. This is cool, huh? You know, I can't swim. So if I get knocked in this water, GG. Oh man, that's like wobbly poo. Kind of cool. I wonder what it's meant to be. Like, it's meant to be a dock, clearly. But why is no one using it, you know? Why is it so publicly accessible? These are the mysteries we'll never get to know. Yeah, the one bike method's pretty good. Honestly, I'd go as far as suggest that you're meant to eat them in one bite. Maybe it's like sushi, where the Dunkin' Donut chef is like, oh, so he kind of has disrespected my honor by eating these donuts in two bites. Who knows for sure? Use at your own risk. Ultimately, we do have to realize <clears throat> everything in life comes with its own risk. I think that's something I've realized semi-recently. And you know, I, I really can't get over that. You know, what a, what a randomly nice, oh, look at that, there's a squirrel on that table. Oh my God, that's adorable. He's bouncing so fast. Look at that, I've never seen a squirrel jump like that. That's so cute. But, um, do you think this is meant to be a bin? I hope it's meant to be a bin. If there's rubbish in there, then it's a bin, regardless of whether it's meant to be. Oh, it's all Duncan rubbish. Oh God, that's gross. Okay, last, last little timbit. Hmm. Look at that cute little squirrel. Bring some joy to your day. Oh man, the way he's jumping so high. I probably have to be back somewhere soon. But, um, if there's anything. Oh, look at this a knockdown post. What's happening in the picture? Who looks steady on their feet? Have, might they fall? Have you been ice skating? Tell us about it. I guess it's for children. You know, have you been ice skating? Tell me about it. I don't know though, like, I feel. I feel like the world is too filled with randomly good things to get too caught up on the bad. And that's so easy to say. It's a lot harder to do. But I think it's worth trying to do. It's worth trying to see the... By the way, look at this. This bridge, it's like all these lanes. It just, those lanes go nowhere. Those lanes, you know, that, that seems like bad, bad highway design. I'm not gonna criticize the city of Albany just yet. But I feel like that's not what you want to do. I'm so nervous. I get bug bent every time I go to the south. Like, I, in addition to the amount I've been destroying my own hands. Like, look at my fingers, by the way. It's, it's terrible. I, uh, I think what you can really do is work on a, on a healthy mind. And once you can do that, I feel like everything else should be a step easier. But I feel like that's true for everything in life. I, it annoys me people say something like that. Like, just eat good, the rest happens. It's like, no, it doesn't. Ignoring that I just had maybe 15 donuts. Maybe that woman did a terrible thing to me. Maybe what she actually did is she figured, yeah, you see this fatty? What he needs is he needs more donuts because he's a fat, seem fat so He's not a part of us, the, the metropolitan elite who get to, we get to also uh, 
Yeah, it's not, he's that, uh, is this Metropolitan Elite actually? Probably not, right? Actually, it's a city. It's like the suburb of the city though. But he is not a part of us. Um, you see how insane I made that leap for how real it can get? You can interpret pretty much any good action as a bad one if you try hard enough. And if you really, really try, you can interpret bad actions as good ones too. Is it smart to do those things? Probably not. But I think there are so many things you need to bounce in life. And if you mess up one of those bounces, everything else gets like a couple times harder. I feel like diet's probably one of them, maybe. I don't know, I haven't been feeling an energy difference since not eating and then an energy difference since starting to eat again. I haven't been noticing a, uh, maybe I have noticed an energy difference. All those donuts made me feel like, you know, like down. Shouldn't have eaten so many donuts. It's the real lesson to take. I'm gonna go back to Duncan and demand a refund for getting too many donuts. Obviously that's a joke. I, again, I think it was very nice the person to do. But what I don't think is nice is being, being like, I don't know, it's like, it's like the money, you know, money is a thing and this is a thing and this is a thing. And if any one of these things are out of line, everyone gets a ton harder. So I think I want to work on myself mentally. I think I need to, you know, I've always wanted to have a therapist for like fun reasons. I think it'd be probably good for like actual health care. You know, honestly, health as a whole, I've been, I'm lucky that I'm so young, but living in the UK, where you're basically encouraged like not to use healthcare resources because you'll kill the NHS by using it, you monster. Wait until, you know, like it's, it's, a, it's a crazy situation with healthcare in the UK. I, I hint at and I can't say any more than that because again, people are mad at you if you actually expect healthcare from, you know, it's, it's, not, it's, it's like the stock market in America. It's like the one thing people love and they won't, well, they'll hear nothing bad about it. It, it must always be doing well. And so um, it's really interesting. Because I felt like I'd been ignoring my my healthcare situation, and the, and one of the reasons why is I, I was at one point applying to private health, and they're like, oh yeah, we do we do like this mental health stuff, and I was like, oh, it'd be cool to get like a you know like some sort of therapy thing going down. They're like, yeah, we have this app you can download. It's like, wait, the the best private healthcare company, the the the, the healthcare they do for your mentalness is we'll give you an app, and I, I think it, it could be, I think it's called Mindful, Mindly, something like that. If you know it, you know it. You know, let's go this way. Who's gonna stop me? Not this guy, that's for sure. Um, but it's interesting because I, uh, I think this last year has really reinforced just how much we don't give a shit about mental health. Like, what is mental health? If you're not physically dying from a fucking lung disease, what is your health matter, man? And it's... And it's hard not to buy into it when it's like, can you see the thousand people a die, day dying of COVID at its peak in the UK? I, I'm sure worldwide it must be like 10,000 people a day dying. It's like, do you not know how many fucking tens of thousands of lives? You know, let's go, off, let's go, off, let's go off millions, right? Millions of lives are now being, uh, are having to recover from the effects of we decided to make health decisions, political decisions. You know, you, you can't make your own decisions, you fucking pleb. You, you think you understand how to stay away from people? Nah, all the stores are closed. We, we're the ones that decide when it's safe to go to a, uh, a clothes store. We decide that going to the supermarket is safe, going to the supermarket to buy anything from the pharmacy, not safe, you know, so on and so forth. And I feel like that neglect is it's gonna rear its ugly head at some point, right? There's just no other way of saying it. But I also think that on a personal level, I've been like, ah, yeah, it's just fine. It's just, you know, it's like normal life. It's just, it's like normal life, but you're at home all the time and you're not seeing anyone and like, ah, it's great, you know? And you, you know, you, you don't have, you know, you're my, my one escape to like healthfully balance work and life has always been, I go traveling, you know? And it's like, oh no, sorry, traveling's killing grandma, you shit. Oh, you wanna, you wanna leave the house? Okay, I'll put my grandma on the respirator right now, shall I? And it's, and it's interesting because we've all bought into this because yeah, we don't have counters for how many people are going through stuff mentally. Cause we, 
even even in the US. I uh, do you wanna do you wanna dive past now? This is a motivational video. I'm sorry. Um, the 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 cheapest uh, therapist I could get my hand on was $125. Not not per hour, by the way, for 45 minutes. That's that's what is that? Uh, $500 a month for three hours worth of someone's time. How can any and and you know this is the uh, this is the cheap like no insurance option. I'm sure some people have insurance that costs them over $500 a month. Where like, I've heard the Kobe's can be as little as $30 a session. Wow, only $30 per session on top of your several hundred a month. Wow, this is delightful savings we're making here, huh? But I think it's uh, I think it's really interesting that we uh, Interstate 787. That's cute. That's like the plane. Um, if you can't see it, there you go. But I, I think it's. I think it's so interesting that like, yeah, this is this is hard to access. And then, like I mentioned, like, because uh, by the way, that was the, the cheaper of the therapy options, the one that was actually available soon, was $185 every 45 minutes. You, yeah, you, you equate that every month to about $800 for about three hours of someone's time. It's it's insane. I <laughs> And I said that, I was like, yeah, that's like $800 a month. And he's like, yeah, I guess that'd be about, uh, you know, like, uh, 730 every every four weeks and I was like yeah about eight hundred dollars a month because <laughs> there's four point three three feet weeks in a month and he's like yeah I guess I've never thought about it that way and it's like shit man how this has never been a, a thing someone's had to consider do you is like you know mental health stuff is at the the last resort right like someone's about to do something bad or whatever shouldn't we have man I hate that so much I hate that so much I can't even describe it. I want to find like a 7-Eleven or something. You know, can I do that? Hey Google. Okay Google. Where is a 7-Eleven near me? Whoa. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, they're all they're all across the river in the main city of Albany. I'm over here at Renesla. It's terrible. What even is Renesla? Ren Rensela. Rensela. Uh, I guess it's probably a different city in the Albany metropolitan area based on the fact that that sign there says Albany. Have I not been in Albany this whole time? I've been in Renaissance. Should I just cross the street? I'm not going to cross the street. I'm going to stand here because, you know, I don't like I don't like when you have to press buttons. I'm just going to stand here for a while. See if anyone notices or cares. But um, yeah, I feel like I feel like we've just been doing this thing. And we're gonna keep doing it, and it's gonna be the tragedy of our time. You ever been to a major city? I'll give you a clue, I have. And at some point I assume, you've been to one and you assumed it was a problem localized to that city that like, oh yeah, there's a ton of like homeless people, right? Like it's growing massively. And then like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a sign of unaffordable housing. And it's like, do you really think the difference between $600 a month rent and $700 a month rent is the thing that's driving someone into homelessness? Sometimes, sure. Do you think the much bigger issue is everything else, you know? Uh, we could, substance abuse is the classic example, but like, I mean, you could also name much more viable examples or much more, uh, you know, like, I, I know, like people are choosing to be there to some extent, not choosing to want to be there, but like versus the alternative or whatever. And in a lot of those cases, these are desperately uh, ill people, you know, Men mentally ill people. It's, it's, it's so tragic, it is. It is a tragedy of our time that we look at and we go, eh, yeah, it's not real health, is it? Is, is mental health a real health? Uh, I can't see with my eyes. I mean, it's a it's a thing. And I, I do also think the internet's approach of like every single person has a mental illness. Every single person. You have four mental illnesses you don't know about is also unhelpful because then again, you're, you're normalizing it, I guess, which is a thing people like to say is great. But normalizing, uh, you know, being like, oh, everyone just has it and you don't deal with it. Yeah, that's just, that's just normal. Like, it's, it's a good coping mechanism, but is a coping me- You know, is that, were, were those 15 donuts a good part of a healthy diet? Or were they just a good thing to eat versus not eating? You tell me. I feel like it's the latter, right? Oh, I've still got sugar on my lips. This is exciting. You can't even see my face, so you can't even judge me for, for doing this. Life is scary. There's like, there's like so many micro signals about what's considered like rude or impolite and I, I don't know where everyone like gathered together to learn this stuff 
but everyone acts like, what the heck, man, you don't know? It's, it's rude to, I got in such huge trouble once because I yawned and a teacher took it so personally that I went to, like we had to like diffuse this huge tension that like almost, almost ruined one of my classes. And it's like, I yawn because I'm tired, <laughs> you know, but like I think it's a stereotype for teenagers to be tired during school, but it's a stereotype not without, you know, truthfulness, right? There is, in fact, um, a thing that causes people to be, uh, you know, my point here is that we, uh, I think coping mechanisms are a good first start. And I don't know if there is even a better start. I, I think honestly, my ideal solution, this is, this is where it gets controversial, right? Um, I'm a, I'm a believer. Like we should take, if there is a pill, like, cause right now we have a few pills for a few, like there are antidepressants that really just like turn off your feelings basically. I, I would like to see actual better localized in the same way that we used to like leech blood and it would technically cure some people sometimes or they'd feel better or whatever. I like to see the same thing done. I like to see the same progression in mental health. Like, oh yeah, we've got this, you know, magic thing. You put it in your brain, it fixes the thing. Or even if it's a whole bunch of drugs, like this one takes away this, this takes away this, this makes you feel better there. Yeah, cause you know that there's like full on disorders and illnesses, right? But there's also just wrongful thinking. Sometimes it's so, I don't know, especially if you lose a lot of people close to you all at once. It can feel like, man, everyone hates me and they're right to. Like that's a, that's a bad thought process that can lead you down a dark place. Take a pill, ooh, I'm dumb, never mind. Um, maybe because it is all about thought processes that can't be done from inside and there needs to be some better external process. Uh, maybe that is the case. Maybe, I don't know. What I'm saying by the way of this video is I would like to make $185 for every 45 minute session. And I think I would be a good therapist. However, therapy is actually a licensed profession. You can't just become a therapist. You have to, you know, sort of the rules, regulations, blah, blah, blah. So I'd like to be a life coach. And if you're willing to pay me $185 for a 45 minute coaching session, I think I'll fix your mental. That guy had a scooter that he just dropped right there. I'm so fascinated. Why did he pick it up? He's wearing a ski mask. He looks so dodgy too. I'm so worried. What am I seeing right now, you know? What, what did I just look at? Mate, see that, that I think is an example, genuinely of like a mental health thing, right? Either something very nefarious happened just there, or maybe maybe it's not nefarious. Maybe what it actually is, is, should I get a drink? Uh, I can't go back to the same place. That'd be weird. I think the employee would give me a second drink they asked nicely. I don't think so. I think that'd be me taking advantage of one nice thing that I, I had one time, but um, I do need to get a drink from somewhere though. You know, actually that would be the perfect, I want like a, I love coffee shops and they have these like blended lemonade style drinks. I'll find like a, I'll find like a, a, a zero calorie drink at the train station though. It'll be, it'll be good. Um, or maybe I should get a high calorie drink. If I'm not eating, I need to get those, those, uh, those nutritions in me somewhere. And as we all know, sugar is 80% of what you need to survive. So Ren, Renesela. Uh, tr rail station is this way. I think it actually means back the way I came. Kind of breaks my heart to just walk around, end up in the same place I was. But this conversation was useful. Your expectations are wrong, society's wrong, and sometimes it hurts. But it won't hurt forever. Or if it does, you'll at least, you'll at least be a notable case, a notable exception to the rule. And uh, yeah, how do we fix? How do we fix everything? I don't know. Stop being so weird, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, if you wanna, you wanna get some life coaching sessions, 45 minutes, $185, hit me up.